everybody and welcome back to do-it-yourself fusters today we're going to make our own compass now if you have duct tape some cork a needle and some some things to cut with some scissors exacto knife you can make a little bowl that's what the duct tape is for you take Three pieces of duct tape, leave the sticky side up, then you're going to take another three pieces, and you're going to put them together the same way, except you're going to do it perpendicular. Um, cutting duct tape, I know duct tape will tear, but I kind of prefer to try to cut it. Okay, you're going to put that perpendicular on there, and this makes it strong on the bottom. How does this work, you say? Well, the science behind the idea is that the earth is a big magnet. And if you can magnetize a small object and have it free floating, it will point to the strongest pole, which in our hemisphere, the northern hemisphere, it will be positively charged and it will point to the strongest pole, which will be north. So the first thing you need to do is make a container for some water, which is what we're doing now. I have this like this, sticky side up, oh you know what, the bottom is sticky side up, and the next layer is sticky side down, so the sticky sides are supposed to be together like this. This is do-it-yourselfers, right? So it's okay for me to make mistakes on camera. That's what I'm supposed to do. Then you get something to help form the bowl shape. Might need a couple more pieces of duct tape to secure this. And in a little while, you will have your water container. So the idea is that your lightweight magnetized object, the needle, needs to float freely for it to be able to spin and point to the, uh, the north. So what you need is a small piece of cork. That's going to float right here on the water. You need a, a source of water. Carry a bottle of water with you, or hopefully, if you're lost in the woods and you don't have that, you'll be able to find some. Set that on top of the water and let it float around, and then you need to magnetize your metal object. Now, if you don't have a needle, you could break off the hook of your earring. Um, maybe you have a piece of paper clip. Maybe you have a safety pin you could break off the little point of. But for today's purposes, we have a needle. And how to magnetize it is you must use a magnet and you start from the eye and go in only one direction, rubbing the magnet along the needle at least 10 times. I did 15, just for good measure. Okay. So let's take this cork and see if we can get the needle to lay on it. And it does want to work, 
but I also think that maybe my construction of my little duct tape bowl could be better. This will work in a pinch, but let's see what it does when it's in a real bowl. And it is definitely trying to point to the north. The water is more level. You see how it's just dit, 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 just like my real compass here. Let's compare. Pretty much the same. I believe I can find Shreveport from here. Okay, now for the real test. I'm gonna let Katie here blindfold me and I'm gonna find myself out of the woods with only my trusty duct tape and needle compass. Let's see if it works. If it does, I'll see you guys next week with another edition of Do-It-Yourself Busters.